Hey, yeah, hey, it's Eddie Steve, it's um, Warship Commanders. Uh, I will do some more videos on Deck Heroes. I'm just waiting to um, get him a few more gems. When I say a few, I mean loads. And then I may well just end up going for Aquarius. Or I might go for some equipment, I'm not too sure. I might roll my gems into next Alice Bond and do that. But in case anybody is wondering, um, I'm probably not going to do Platinum Spin this time. Not, I've got a bad feeling, like one of my guys, um, Axiom said, I've got a bad feeling that Druidess is going to be nerfed. They've been so generous to Druidess that surely it's going to be nerfed. Anyway, back to Warship Commanders. Uh, you'll notice here, and this is the same for everybody, it says here, the promotion codes are suspended, so don't get drawn into like the, the general chat page that suggests otherwise. Right there we can see it's not going to happen. There's no codes right now. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to mention the harbour. Harbour's in the top left-hand corner. This is crucial to having a strong game. I was just thinking this morning about what to spend your gems on. Um, if you look to the left, it's possible to plunder something like <laughs> um, Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> if somebody was going to try and plunder me in six hours, there'll be gems available. And the same with everybody else. Um, not only gems or diamonds or whatever, you get these resources. You need those resources in order to maximize your game. Um, what would I do if I had loads of gems? I'll tell you what, just from the structure of the game, I think that it seems to be that the idea is to get as many fantastic ships as possible. But if you, you'll find as soon as you get a new, a new ship, you press auto select, auto set, it doesn't actually ever get added anywhere unless it's orange. Um, which means either the auto select system is flawed or the ships are kind of pair, like more or less the same. Um, and it's the heroes which change. So if it's the heroes which we've got to focus on, that's where your gems should go, or your strategy, your thoughts should be. Should be on evolving heroes or get it, um, obtaining heroes possible to evolve, such as um, Orange is the highest level of hero or commander, right? Um, orange is the highest level, I've got three orange here, S is the lowest level of orange, and then it's SS, the mid level, and it's SSS, which is the top level orange, which is realistically something I'll never have enough copies of. Um, so I'm basically I'm going to be thinking about what SS level commander, I know I'm, sounds like a comedy gook, hopefully you're following me. Thinking about what SS level uh, commander I'm looking to get, and then that's what I'm going to be focusing on. Right, and I think was it UBT? If I just click on a few. Okay, so hit skill, six random enemies. Not awful, but not exciting. You want it to be about nine. All warships in middle row, not interested in. Oops. <laughs> Fusion. Right, so that was Spruance, all ships in the middle row, we're not interested. Izakuru. Okay. Target fleet and three other fleets, that's actually not too bad. Um, nine random enemies. That's what I'm trying to go for, Regal. Um, it was either Riedel or not you to it's just the back row, don't even worry about that, BT, six, again, similar to Senyuki, I think it was, six is, is not awful, but it's just not enough, back row, we're not interested in Ernest King, Isakov, just one fleet, forget that one, Donitz, Middle row, not interesting. Darlan, three fleets. Yeah. <clears throat> Six random enemies. So Hipper. I was just thinking about you, Hipper. When they say Hipper, do they mean Hipper? Or do they mean another German commander who would never be given that name in the West? Hipper. I know what you're trying to say. Fascinating. Fasc anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Um, two random enemy fleets, Kuznetsov. It's not, I'd rather have the three, but having three, 
means it's just more likely that the damage to those three is quite small. Halsey, um, it is only 360%, like a little tickle to absolutely all the warships. But, um, if you can get those commander skill books, get that up to the max, that might end up being interesting, who knows. I would go for it. If I could farm it, I'm not quite at that stage yet. But anyway, you get the points, so that's what we're going to be doing. Right, so, harbour is very important. Let's go to Chief of Staff title. We'll collect these ten gems. Um, I get those gems because I'm at VIP level two. Um, people might be thinking because I'm VIP level two, I'm a pay to play. People who really know me though, know that I'm completely free to play. Uh, you get the VIP level up by doing the harbour and then spending it via the logistics chief, then the trade store, and right there you see the VIP points. In fact, I'll buy some right now. <clears throat> if you look towards the top middle, I've got 2.18k of whatever I need for the VIP points. So we're going to buy. Damn right, I'm going to buy. There you go. That's how, that's how I'll get the VIP points. And eventually, um, it'll give me the appearance of being very heavily paid to play. And I'm very much not. Anyway, so um, what else? We've got 7.7k green. We're going to have... I was thinking about what to spend this on. This commander training book, it, it is actually useful. But I can't actually use it until I get to level 60. I could make a case to save it up until I get to level 60. But I don't have that kind of patience. Well, actually, am I really thinking... Where is it? Yeah, there, there, there. Five, super experience book. I think that's what I mean, actually. It's, it basically, this is what you use to upgrade the commander skill. I think it might be experience book. Is it? <laughs> Was it commander skill? I'm unsure. We're going to play the game, right? And by, we'll, we'll learn by doing. We'll come back to this in a little bit. <clears throat> All right, so... Um, okay, so new server gifts. We're going to collect the 300 gems. Diamonds. War, war reserves. Commander skill. Okay, so we can see very, very shortly what that is. For sure. Um, VIP 2 daily gift package. And obviously... As I get that VIP level up, the package will be better, you know. We'll take it though. Monthly sign-in. Okay, so um, souls. Purple souls. <clears throat> I think that's about it. Limited. Strongest warship. So once a day we get to do a lot of this for free and obviously we will. Blue crap. Burn. And basically, we get some bonus for that. You notice there's nothing red here. So I'm going to double check that burn is not one of my bonus skill ships. If you look into the, like the left, the, sorry, the right side, you'll see what ships give me the bonus, which purple ones. There's not burn there. And again, it's LB and Conig. If you look to the right again. No burn. Cool. So what we're going to do safely is go to intelligence. It should be in red. That will be in red a little bit later. It just must be a little bit laggy. Okay. Reserves fleet. Right. So what I'm going to do is click on that ten times. If you look to the bottom left, we'll see what we get. Because basically I get ten tries, so that we do it. Okay. And that senior commander thing is what I use in the black market. You'll see it a little bit later. So it's giving me two here. Crazy useful. And for the end game, useful. Okay, so we're going to have to press plunder eight times. If you look to the right, what I need is that um, Jigsaw piece for, for four, IV, four Roman numerals. Yeah, I mean, we want more turns so we have a chance of getting that piece, of, that jigsaw piece, but 
if we get any more souls, then we will take that. I got one more chance. Okay, senior. Well, honestly, <laughs> the senior commander soul, which is what you're looking at, also what we want, and that relates back to what I was talking about with those orange commanders, and it's um what we'll get from um the black market anyway. So plunder. What we want is the jigsaw piece IV, which is number four. No, but we'll take the souls. More souls, not to be confused with anything else, Cockney Rhyming Slang. We've got it, okay, great. So what that means is, if you look to the bottom right, we've got two of two. Bottom left, if you look towards the right, then we're talking about the four squares on the, on the right. Five of two, just above that, 17 of two, and just to the right of that, four of two. So before I forget, we're gonna do an exchange, which is gonna give me 20 um, orange level souls. Super. And the target reward button, one more soul. And we do another plunder. Even more souls. It's really good that they're doing this because um, otherwise, <laughs> it, I've got no idea how we would be expected to ever kind of level up our heroes. So it's good that they've thought about it. Okay, so doing those two for free. Okay, do these two junior construction for free again. Okay. My intelligence chief still doesn't have the does not have the red dot on it, which is kind of interesting. Um okay, so the other thing I always do is and click, click on conquer. Giant ship. Oh, that's closed. Military exercise. Enter. Right, I'm just gonna do sweep. Yeah, medium experience. We'll be using that. I promise you, we'll use that in a little while. We'll see what it's good for. Senior experience. It's probably better than medium, being senior. And more of those. More of that. We've run out of tries. We go to anti-ship drill. Sweep. Commander skill. More commander skill. Very useful. And more commander skill, and even more commander skill. And if you haven't noticed, in the top right, a lot of my ore has gone. Just play with me. So we're going to do Salamist Sweep. That is for medals. Medals are the things which give you additional skills. If I remember, we can have a look at that again. So we've got two lots of medals. Um, we're going to try sweep on the Santa Cruz. Can you use that yet? And we're going to use another one. And probably another one. Another couple, because we're going to be trying out a few things. Okay. Okay. So we're going to sweep. More, that's useful. Sweep. And even more there. Okay, so we've done all that. That's cool. Ocean Bounty. Right, we we'll click, quickly click on that, do an attack. This is where you get your steel and your aluminium and things like that. Um, it's just crazy useful. Go with me. Okay, we we'll just skip. We've got it. The damage doesn't matter, it's what um, the resources we managed to get. We we'll do a refresh, two more. This is how easy it is to get that 70,000 um, steel. Sometimes it's steel, sometimes it's aluminium. Cool, so we'll put it in there. The next one is steel again. It's, it, trust me, it's not always steel, but it just happens to be this time. And the last time. And the time before that. Cool, so that's important to do anyway. So we refresh again. There's another one. Steel again. I only play this like kind of like twice a day, so that's why I'm not holding out for aluminium. It's just you know, I mean, just we just crack on with it. Oh, there's two more steel. I'm not going to turn it down. But and also, I promise you, there will be another day, and you'll probably find out yourself where you only get aluminium. 
but uh, steal again. <laughs> anyway, having a fruit teller. Mm -hmm. Anyway, another one aluminium. Using this technique, you will, without doubt, have all the aluminium and definitely all the steel that you could ever want. Alright, so we're going to move on from that. Great glory battle. Enter. Right. I wish I knew how close I was to levelling up. Anyway, what I always do, start off at chapter 1. And these are the ones I've already beaten. I want to try and farm the orange. So we're going to do a sweep. Sweep basically means auto battle. Got no orange, only blue crap. Then we do, if you look to the top right, we can click on switch. Sweep again. Okay, Gunter's got the little flag in the top right, the red flag. That means I've already got one copy of him. Okay, so we've got one shard today. That's how slow it's going to be to level him up. And that's why, when it comes to gems, if I had to really think about it, it's about levelling up the commandos, because that activates additional skills, <coughs> additional attack, additional health, aka everything you're going to want or need. Okay, so Andrew Cunningham, Cunningham Sweep. Experience book, All right, chapter 3, Sweep. If I get, yeah, as I mentioned before, those books, the experience books and all that, crazy useful. And then here's Hipper. Not to be confused with another crazy German commander person. Anyway, so we've got the senior recruitment card, that'll be useful. Chapter 4. Okay. I actually forgot, forget the ocean bounty. I can actually spend gems to send that onto the message board. Um, it's just not worth it because people will destroy us within five minutes anyway. And we've got Alfred Mahan Shard. And that's again why he's got the little flag on the top right of where he is. If you look towards the centre of the screen, the little red flag. All right, so we're going to switch. All right, so here is a, a, a section that I haven't beat yet uh, and I don't think I'm going to beat it this turn either but you never know um possibly I should have refined my oh less than 18 warships oh no problem I wonder if they've changed this I mean the developers it was usually more than 60% of health which is why I was stuck on it I will definitely have more than 18 warships look at them they're messed up Excellent. Okay. Leveled up as well. Have I beaten that before? No, okay, anyway, just do a sweep. Oh, I've beaten it before, that's why. Oh. Right, so that's okay. We've got ex medium experience book, switch, chapter five. Um, maybe. Mm. Don't worry about it. I'm trying to work out whether I've actually beaten this stage before or not. Now, this is the one, no less than 60%. And at the moment, we're very far from beating it. Every time I beat one of their ships, there's one less ship alive to attack us back. I've done some decent damage. Look at our health, it's over 2 million. Um, oh, we, oh, we might just do it. Oh, we must have just failed. Anyway, we're going to dip out of this for now. What we're going to do is switch, finish this. Sweep. Sweep. 
No orange goodness for us. Ocean Expedition. Um, where are we at? 42. So we're going to do a reset. It's really not so interesting to do this one. It's quite easy to get to 30 stars and you open a gold chest. It's usually got some crap resources in there, but sometimes it's halfway interesting. We did get that passed in a way for senior recruitment. Uh, we're not talking about before about what to do in terms of leveling up heroes. The triple S is I don't think there's a s I don't think the game has worked out the strategy of what to do with triple S because realistically we won't get enough copies of that ever to level it up. And they only seem to show like one different hero every so often, so I'm I'm not really sure you meant to get additional copies of the thing. Um, but there you go. Anyway, so building, I definitely recommend. I'm not just saying this because I've got a legion, but um, in order to get the silver emblems, you need to donate gold. You just got to. And getting those silver emblems is only vitally important. Uh, and it reminded me of something. You go to the shop. What you do is go to ice fin coating. It doesn't matter what kind of coating you get. That all of us have exactly the same power, and that's what you do. Um, do I want? See, I'm more interested in ships, really. And then getting some ultra rare commando that's limited use. He says, but we get ships all the time. Let's try it. <laughs> Right, let's just buy two of these. So at least I get two more tries. I might not get some ultra rare, I might just get something that I need. Who knows? So limited summon. Senior recruitment. I've got one free one. It's crap. Let's see what we get on the senior recruitment. It could well be Bismarck, who knows? Speed. Actually needs speed. So that's great. He'll be okay. Getting to speed again obviously gives me the shards <laughs> um, that I need to level him up or promote him. <laughs> John Toby. Okay, so I've got two purple. Boo hoo. And do this free. And the only way that was possible was donating to the uh, Legion and building recruitment plan. Alright, click this. Got 50 points. Uh, bear with me. Um, <laughs> right, so I was just distracted for the moment. Right, so speed train. It's promoting him actually. I think I mentioned level up. I meant promote. So we've got eighteen and forty of him. For you, Friedberg. 32 or 40, really close. Right, and so we're going to try and level up Friedeberg very, very soon. And this is the difference in the game. What I'm going to do with these purple ones is what I was trying to do right uh, like five minutes ago. I'm trying to farm the orange shards. This is the difference. By bothering to do that, eventually I will get them. And eventually I will be able to promote my commanders. And they will be stronger. And they will have all these attributes. You look at the bottom, the destructive... Looking like right bottom right, and then fighter defense, then HP and dodge. Eventually, definitely the purple, and hopefully, or probably, in a long, long, long run, also the orange, and that's why you've got to be very selective about what you do. Cool, anyway, so we're going to go to commanders, fusion, fuse all, if you look to the bottom right. Fusion means you've got enough shards to get the complete commander. You do retirement, D, C, B, retire, 20, we'll take that here. Uh, Friedeberg, wasn't it? So we're going to go logistics, exchange, uh, Friedeberg, here you are, son. And thankfully, again, it's got that um, little red flag in the corner to say it's an active hero, active commander for me. So exchange. Um, fleet, it's got a red dot on it now. Friedeberg. Right, so train. Promote. And activating, 
So leveling him up to Chief Marshal means that the HP skill is going to be activated as well. From out. And that increased my power by 6,000 somehow. Okay, and then the next one, I mean, it's easy to go from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, uh, and then at least from 1 to 4 or 1 to 5, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm leveling up all these one at a time. Um, because it's just easier. Speed's next. Or maybe Harcourt. Doesn't matter, probably Speed. Right. Anyway, so I've got all those books I was going to talk about, wasn't I? The um, Commander books. Right, so that's level 4. If you look to the right, I'm looking at the skills. And he's just got this HP skill. So it could increase HP by 3%. He's a bit defensive. And um, I'm really about offense more so than defense. But I would at the same time like these things to be like minimum level 5. But also for these orange dudes. Right, so you know how I've got all those called commander books, whatever it is. The little brand things, just like the ones in the bottom right. We're going to press auto and get this skill up. So if you look to the centerish left, it says deals current flagship 781% to 15 enemies, aka nearly everybody. We want that to be higher, the percentage of damage. So you're going to click on auto. Let's increase my power by a thousand and this skill's gone to three. So now it's 852%. Um, we're not going to stop until it gets to level 5. I won't be able to do it right now, but that's the goal. Okay, so about halfway there. <clears throat> that is the game. That is the game right there. Uh, what else can I do? Foreign Ministry. <laughs> okay, here's Jesse Main. Let's see what's going on with you, Jesse. Basically, my legion's called Dark Rebels. That's it. Dark Rebels. Jesse? Right, so collect all those. <laughs> okay, so we've got some prestige. Isn't that nice. I'm going to delete. Once you read a message or collected it, you might as well delete it. Take the Ace Killer. Achievements. Collect all. Super resources, honor. I think that I think the honor. If I go to chief of staff, title. I think that is what boosts this here. This, this level. <laughs> My level at the moment is Adolf. Interesting. Um, items. Okay, let's use up these diamonds. They just get added to my total. Let's use up the VIP points. Get added to the total as well. It's 200. Nice. I've got seven lots of 10 here. I get those from the black market. And before I go, before I forget, sorry, we'll go to that next. Uh, well, actually, just after I've checked how many VIP points we got, we got 750 of 1,000. And we can go up to VIP level 3, which is great. All right, so I go to Logistics Chief. Um... Yeah, the honor shop. I'm saving up till I get to 200,000, and then I'm going to get one of these SS ships. Apart from Project 71B, which I've already got. I'm going to choose one that's the same as one of my orange heroes, orange commanders, and then I get the bonus attack. Right, so here, top left. Um, sorry, center left ish. Best of value, 10 VIP points for 8 gems. This is what I spend mine on. Yeah. Um, I don't want to spend souls to get this experience, but an extra reminder me, I'll show you what I do with it in a minute. Um, if you look to the bottom, 50 souls to get 10 Donuts shards, and I'm not trying to get Donuts though, that's the thing. What, the one I'm trying to get, if I go to Commanders, then Fusion, I think it was the UBT. Six, no, I was one of nine. Were you Riedel? Yeah, so if I see you Riedel, and be 
because these things are actually quite rare, then I'll, I'll only spend it on Lidl. If I spend it on more than one, I'll never get there. Not to say there's anything wrong with the others. Um, I wouldn't do the others, even though it says best value for the commander skill. Commander skill is crazy useful. Um, don't spend 40 gems, it's a little bit too expensive. Um, see that golden experience for 2000 of the cog thing? At the moment, oh, I've only got five. If you look to this upper center, I've got 5000 of the cog thing. But we want that, so we're going to spend it. Um, that's it, and we're not prepared to spend on anything else. We're going to spend another 800 on the experience. We'll see why in a minute. Yeah, we're just sticking to read all. Yeah. It's a shame we don't want to see it. I've got one more try. Let's click it on refresh. Okay, so we're going to buy some more VIP points. Eight diamonds. Yeah, we're going to do it. Um, I'm probably not going to do it any more after this. We're going to get some more of that gold experience with the medal. And I don't know what the scene card is. We're going to skip past that. Right, cool. So what we're going to do is go into the fleet. Go into the medals. Yeah, these are minimum like level 4, level 5. So but anyway, this is what we want this gold experience for. We click on that. and just shoots up. That's actually at least one level and a bit. Okay, that'll do. It's going up two levels. Okay, that's level six. Um, okay, yeah. As I said, I want a minimum level five. Just like there. Order of Patriotic War. Can I change? Hmm. Possibly I might need that enemy search, but um, I don't know. I'll just let's do it for the sake of it. It's that enemy search. Level it up. We're going to choose this, this. Okay, that's going to go up like six levels to level seven. Crazy useful. Um, I think if you got more search than your opponent, enemy search or whatever in general, like the total, then um, you get first strike. Maybe I'm not too sure. You know, it's order of Pacific War. No, bronze medal. I don't know what they mean by tenacity. HP. It's a bit defensive. Naval gun. Level that up. Two of those again. Defo. Just look at that orange. Orange dudes. Crit. Let's do it up anyway. Cool. There's just never anything bad. We're giving you guys like bonus skills. Alright, let's do silver experience. Look how much silver experience I got. It's taking a lot more to like level it up though. Okay. <laughs> um Iron Cross Middle. Yeah. Right, that's level four. We want it to be level five. That's the minimum for me. Um, okay, naval gun attack just means in general gameplay um, how much damage you do to the other side, which is actually very important. Okay, let's go up to level 7. Uh, red banner, dodge, let's level that up, it's going to be defensive, ain't it? Um, silver, silver, silver. of order yeah that'll do cool very important All right, limited event limited summon it's going to be the free crap another experience book though free 
The only other thing I can do since before we go is on Fleet, if you look towards the top middle, she's level 48, level 47, 47, 47, 42. Right, so he's the lowest level of 42. If I click on Train, I can level him up. And do I want to? Let's do it for the sake of, right, so Green Book, Auto, he's going up to the level 43. Uh, because he's only S level, not SS. Um, I'm going to save the rest for when I get new heroes, but that's the idea of that. Um, okay, so one thing that we were previously stuck on was this one. Uh, for Riedel, this would be crazy useful if we can beat it with more than 60%. I don't think we was a million miles away before. But we should be stronger now. Hmm. And at the moment, all we've seen is the naval attack until then. Right, so I can't have, I can't lose, basically, I can't go below about 1.5 mil. Look at the damage I'm doing is nearly 1 million. <laughs> oh, we're close. Oh, we failed. That's so annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, if we look, oh, we won it this time. If we leveled up, I was just about to say we would we would get there if we leveled up, but um, we just about edged it, which is good. Harbor trade gold gained. Cargo ships levels boosted to six. <laughs> the Battle of Dodger Bank was a naval engagement on the twenty fourth of January, nineteen fifteen. Near the Dogger Bank in the North Sea during the First World War, between squadrons of British Grand Fleet and the German High Seas Fleet, the first battle between the two sides in the North Sea ended with the Germans' defeat and retreat. Oops. Oh! I was trying to scroll down, but... It, oh, oh, well. <laughs> oh, story. Anyway, so less than 12 of our ships destroyed, and then we can farm this purple dude. If we wanted to, which we don't, let's just skip because we're going to win. We're not going to lose that many ships. Um, should we check something? Did we level up? That's okay. No, we didn't. Right, let's so go back in. Great glory battles. Just gonna see how far we can get. So in chapter six, battle. What do we not win? Oh, I'm getting confused. <laughs> well, it's just battle number two with the same dude. If it is, then it's gonna be a waste. No, we did win. Look, see. Okay. Okay, battle number. Now there's four battles this time. Okay. <laughs> Finish the battle within 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Realistically, the way that's going to happen is doing like what I said with the uh, commander skill and leveling it up, and obviously the ships as well. Just farming the ships and leveling them up, leveling up the uh, medals. We've got all our ships. I think we're going to win this no problem whatsoever. I say think we're going to win Defo, right? Okay, so HP no less than 60%. This is not one that we're going to win. Mindful of how long this video is, 40 minutes. 
Right, so there's other things I want to do. We're going to lose. We won. <laughs> got David Beatty as well. That's three lots of David Beatty. That's really not bad. And then now we can farm that. So there's four battles. Hmm. So you know how I was doing the sweep before for all the other orange dudes? Now David Beatty as well. Um, on a daily basis, this is our top priority, just as I said, to farm these orange guys. And eventually we'll get them. And some of them will have to be retired so we can get more souls. There you go. More souls to get more heroes, the ones that we want. Right there. Finish this battle within 30 seconds is the is the goal. It's only about 100% likely. Win or lose, we won. <laughs> um, it might be a bit deceptive how easy it is now, but trust me, it took me ages to finish the other one above 60%. Total HP is no less than 50%. Okay, let's see how we do. So they've only got just under 2 million to start with. So I think this should be an easy win. We'll see. Well, we can't lose more than 750,000. My, my queen is going to do this battle in a minute. Uh-oh. So we lost. No, we haven't. Not yet. <laughs> there are any ships. This battle, though, is what's going to... Oh, we'll be able to do it now or we die. Just about did it. Don't worry about that. Cool, done it. It's three shards. Okay, another one. Gold obtained in the campaign plus 10%. Cargo ship boosted to seven. Okay, let's try and do this story, for goodness sake. To break the stalemate, which had rapidly set in on the Western Front in 1915, a plan of capturing the Dardanelles, Dern, <laughs> the Bosporus and Constantinople to boost Ottoman Empire out of the war using battleships. Submarines and minesweepers was proposed at Churchill's request. The Enneden fleet? Naval forces of Britain and France would boom the coastal defence and forts of the Ottoman Empire, and then clear mines in the, in the strait before the infantry to occupy the enemy fortress. Fight Admiral Cardin's Mediterranean squadron and substantial support from the French, consisting of 11 battleships, one battle cruiser, Four light cruisers, 16 destroyers, 7 submarines and 1 seaplane carrier reached the entrance to the Straits on the 19th of February and that wasn't a very, very, very long sentence. The German Turk forces organised in a defensive against the raid. There you go. Okay, listen, we're going to do this one as well. We're not going to lose 18 warships, surely. Um, and again, I don't know what to say. I've really struggled against some of these shockers, and now not so much. Um, this purple hero that we can farm now, if we beat this one, Essen, used to be one of my boys. Oh, it just doesn't make the team now. There you go. Well, I'm going to have to use more crude. I was actually thinking to use it on the campaign, but you know, whatever. All right, so hardcore to be very useful to beat this. Finish it if you look to the kind of center right. We will finish this battle in 30 seconds, no doubt about it. So now I need to remember once we reach like the brick wall uh, to come back to this specific chapter and farm that specific hero or hardcore. It's okay, cool. Right, HP no less than 50%, okay. And 
and you can imagine if I get a lot more of those books to the experience books for the medals and things like that, it's going to boost my stats even more. And I'm not sure that everybody's actually investing in that. Uh, similar to runes in Deck Heroes, I'm not sure everybody's on that same page. Anyway, there's, there's a lot more we want to do, so you just want to skip. Okay, we've won. Great. Three more shots to the orange hero dude. And we've gone to the next series of battles. It's going to be fine. I can't believe how far we're getting. This is all first time me battling these dudes. Okay. Which shows how I'm balanced that previous... That one guy, the first battle that we had is the one I couldn't, I could not normally pass. It just shows how unbalanced it was. <laughs> okay. I finished battle within twenty seconds. Possible. Defo. <laughs> and the Pilbara Hero, if you look to the centre, Rolf Carls. Not to be confused with Rolf Harris. He used to draw things. Right, let's see how see if we get puts nets off. I don't think we will. If we fail, we're moving on. Failed. Yeah, let's move on. Other things to do. Oh, before though, just as a matter of... Yeah, all these I need to do sweep for, just so I can try and get another... Orange shard of these dudes, top dudes. No luck. Done it. One more try. Didn't get it. How do you do? Defo. Didn't get it. Switch. Okay, then that's that. Okay, we're on to Ocean Expedition. Let's have a quick look at the campaign. I've got a feeling we might go further than we normally would. Um, elite Battle. I did want to show you this. Not really interesting turplets, but we do kind of need Konig. If you look towards the centre right, it's got um, one of the ships we've actually used in our squads. So obviously it would be useful if we could have got more. Technical manual and shipbuilding manual, also very useful. We'll look at that in a minute. But I'm going to go back. No, it is a Weapon and random. Okay, so it's 100% chance to get random on the left and we might get David BT or heal. He was one of our ships, so we're going to go for it. Sweep. Yeah, all these books crazy useful. We're getting close to levelling up. Riedel. Yeah, definitely want that. We want Riedel as one of our top guys. Didn't get him. Damn. Well, neither did we get Pennsylvania, I think. Fuso. Yeah, we, we need that. Got a Fuso. And all the manuals. Cool. Um, Mahan and Independence, two things that we need. Didn't get either. Okay, so we've run out of that. What we're going to do is go on the fleet. Mahan. Warship. Okay, Fuso can be leveled up. Remodeled. Okay, so the stats are going to increase, obviously, between the left side and the right side. Then we get critical damage boosts. Super. Getting close to, like, 45,000 total uh, deck power. Um, intelligence Chief Bond. That's the cruiser that we... Yeah, if we didn't level it up, if we didn't use it to level up, then we could have used it as a stat to everything else. Um, I'd rather level it up first time around and then the second time around when I need multiple copies. That's the time I'd use it to boost everything else. Intelligence. Yeah, it's 
a bit laggy sometimes, that's why the red dot's still there. Right, so campaign. I apologise for the length of this video. I wasn't expecting to be so successful, you know, so surprised. Genuinely. Um, yeah, you've seen the decks basically. There's nothing really to the decks other than auto select. Oh, I didn't get it. And um, we didn't get three stars, which is what we need. I have one more go. I mean, one more go of buying oil. Um, yeah, we, we have leveled up the... Well, we did it in the order that we did, so we can level up the medals and also hopefully try and get some more ships. Oh, we didn't get that either. Wow. Okay, we're, that, we're not going to beat that. Um, so we, our point of view will change to just trying to farm the stuff that we need with our health. Is a carve might be of use. Clicking on the orange and the blue ships. Those will have the best prizes because they're the, like the bosses, the main bosses and the sub bosses. Orange with the main boss. Sagittarius is one of my ships. But to do this sweep times five is costs a load of ore because it's each. So five battles is going to cost me 25 ore. Right, so I'm going to do this once. Then we're going to tap out. Sweep. <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't get anything that we wanted. Maybe this medium experience. <clears throat> but we're so close to levelling up, we might as well just carry on a little bit more. Um... I'll be on there. Okay, let's do something else that I normally do. See, the blue ships are going to be a lot more common than everything else. I do actually have blue ships. That would be interesting. Uh, I do actually have blue ships in my fleet. Vessa, there's one right there. So I'd need 50 ore in order to do this. Let's do it. Sweet times 10. That's why it's better not to try and do everything in, in an hour. Just do over like, first half of the day do something, and then the next half of the day do something else. And then you don't have to do what I'm doing right now, actually using up those items. Okay, so we leveled up. <laughs> we didn't get any of those vessels that we actually wanted, which is awful. Um... Okay. Fleet. Quick. There was a mop. The same with all of these. Cool. Also, last important thing I wanted to show you was okay, click on medal, click on change, click on forge, get more medals. <clears throat> you know, it's got one million gold there. We're going to do apprentice forging. Okay, we'll do it again. This is how you get the resources in order to get the medals to start off with, and then you use the extra ones in order to kind of level up those medals. Let's do a little bit more of that. It's fine. This shiver, shiver, chivalric. Chivalric. Okay, all the white ones there, are, all the green ones. Blue. No, not blue. Right, so we're going to go bronze star. Shamarik. Okay, stick with that. Right. Um, just for the sake of arguments, what we're going to do, collect all. <clears throat> just try out that campaign again and see if we get any more progress and then I'm going to tap out and have a drink. Um, cool. Ah, um, if, if you look to the, the ship, the, my ship on the top left, I forgot to do the coating. We won. Only two stars. Right, so what we're gonna do, I think I bought one, didn't I? The blue 
fin thing and I forgot to put it on. What we're gonna do fleet. There you are, daring, the orange ship as well. So we've got to daring, we go to coating. If you look to the top left, ice cream coating one, that's the one. Coating, the orange thing that's activated in the middle, we click on that. Fighter defense, it's a bit defensive obviously, but we'll take it. One more try at this campaign, I don't think we're gonna do it. I don't think coating one ship with a little bit more defense is necessarily gonna help us. Enough, but it will help us a bit. Alright, so we'll see a bit of this battle all we tap out. Yeah, their starting health is actually quite high. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Doing some decent damage. Seriously, not that far, but anyway, I'm gonna tap out there. That is the game that is farming, that is building towards something. Um, I guess that's for me, anyway, what to do with your gems at the moment. Use it in the black market, use it to kind of get the shards to uh, evolve or level up or promote your, your heroes. At the moment, when purples get to this kind of level, more than decent. Uh, okay, if we click on click on train, um, it's got forty four thousand HP and fighter attack is four thousand seven hundred for him. For him, train. He's only got thirty thousand HP and the fighter attack is two thousand eight hundred. But I'm guessing at level, if I promoted him to the same level as the other dude, which is only going to take me about a year. And then they would balance out, but at the moment, purple is more than adequate. And in fact, if I had more purple, I could have the orange as like a very, very long term plan, but the purple as a current plan. Anyway, so anyway, please like, please like and subscribe. That is Steve, and I am out.